Yeah, g'day, Daniel Fellas here from uh, all seven of us, and I'd like to do another book video about some of the books I've been collecting over the last uh, few years. So I, I have done a Stephen King, well, two or three Stephen King videos, but I also collect some Dean Koontz books. So um, I've got a few, I've actually got a whole library of, of his like uh, readily available uh, books, hardcovers and paperbacks and stuff that, you can get from any bookstore but there's also a whole bunch that uh, i like to collect a lot of his early early stuff um so that's uh, most of them some of the ones i have are out of print i don't have that many at the moment but i'm building my collection so i'd like to talk about these two first so you got well, backwards but you got lee nichols nichols the door to december so this is one of his um early pen names that he wrote, uh, I think, four or five books under. And then and he, the other book I have of his is called The Key to Midnight. So you got the door to December and The Key to Midnight. So these aren't that hard to find. I actually found this one. We went on holiday down south, I think, early this year. And I picked up um, a couple of books. Um, so but they are, uh, you can find them. They are, and you can get them online, eBay or some other website. So they're not that hard to find, but if you want to get some of the early books that aren't in his name or, or whatever, you get these two. But this one's particularly interesting because this book was actually released under three pen names. You got the Lee Nichols version. You got The Door to, to December by Richard, no, uh, yeah, Richard Page. And I'm pretty sure he released it under his own name as well, Dean Koontz, or possibly even Dean Ray Koontz. So, uh, the Key to Midnight one was released in 1979, and the Lee Nichols, Nichols version was 1987. Now, these aren't first editions, obviously, but uh, if you just want to find or publish, oh, sorry, by the ones that um, aren't in his name, have no reference to him, then yeah, get those, they're quite interesting. Um, I haven't read these ones, but the two door to Decembers, there is the, exactly the same novel. Um, they're the same, they started off the same way, and so why publish them under different pen names, I do not do not know, but um, yeah. So the other book I have bought, is called The Face of Fear, which was a, um, a Brian Coffey uh, book. This one was published in, um, where is it? Face of Fear, 1977. So it was a good year, was it? That was the year I was born, 1977. Now, I didn't realize until after I purchased this, I went through it and looked through the copyright page. This is a book club edition, so, um, not, it's not obviously not one of the expensive ones and it probably won't gain any value, but if you want to get one with a, a different pen name, then there's that one. So, um, The Face of Fear. And these ones, these ones are first editions and these ones are somewhat semi-pricey. Semi so this one here, you got The Prison of Ice. This is by David Axton published in 1977. This is the first edition. And then there was a, a hardback that was released in regards to this one. This was, uh, and that was released in 76. Yeah, so, but this is 1977. So I haven't read this one yet, but this is that one. Uh, we got Time Thieves. This is one of his early, early books. This is the first edition. Time Thieves from 1972. Um, obviously came this awesome uh, protective sleeve, so uh, I've yet to read that one, but to tell you the truth, I'm not too sure if I'll read these ones. I'm, I don't want to damage the, the insides or anything like that. Um, and then there was this one, um, A Darkness in My Soul, also from 1972. And um, obviously I bought all these online. You can't You'd be very, very hard pressed to find these from a bookstore or, unless I suppose if you're in the US, I'm in Australia, so um, things are a bit different here. And this might've been the first one I collected, it was his very first book. 
Starquest by is uh, Dean R. Coons. So his early books were generally Dean R. Coons. So this is from 1968, and it's an ace double. So what that means is, so his book, his book is on one side. Once you flip it up, you got the other book called Doom of the Green Planet by Emil Patasia, maybe. And uh, so this is an ace double, and a lot of his early books were ace doubles. Um, was that one? Uh, yeah, that's an ace double as well. So you got Time Thieves on one side, and then on the other side, you just flip it up like that. Against Arcturus by Susan K. Putney. Yeah, if you think Susan K. Putney, I'm, I did the research on some of these authors. I think this might have been her only book. Or she's, or she's an author that's very, very hard to find information on. So, and uh, The Darkness in My Soul, just a standalone. Yeah. So, uh, so there, that's so far is my um, Dean Koontz uh, hard to find or first edition kind of collection and I intend to get a lot more there's um but you know some some of these books are like for example that does uh, Star Quest cost me with postage and everything it was probably over a hundred bucks um, so obviously you can't buy these things all the time um, there are other things that I like food and rent and mortgage and stuff like that and the kids have to feed for some reason, who knows? Um, so yeah, so some of these books, uh, you know, you buy the book and the postage, and, uh, over a hundred bucks. So yeah, but um, anyway, that's that. I in intend to get uh, a lot more and um, I'll do a, a second update once I get uh, a few more books, maybe hopefully by the end of the year. Um, I wanna get some of those early, early books, especially the out of print ones that um, uh, yeah, they look really, really cool. Some, some have great covers. Anyway, that's me. So uh, please, if you like this video, like and subscribe. And there will be more uh, videos coming up possibly this week about uh, my other Dan Coons collection and some other books. All right? All right, bye.